Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, today we will be solving 2 power x plus 1 plus 2x equal to 22. While solving this problem, we will see exponent, we will see the properties, rules of exponents, algebraic manipulation, second method of solving this problem that is lambda w function method and then we will conclude our solution part by graphs. So let's get started. I will write the first method of solving by algebraic manipulation. Okay. So let me substitute or let me write first property of exponent that is x power a plus p can be written as x power a times x power b. So I can write 2 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power 1 that is 2 plus 2x equal to 22. Okay. It is easily visible that equation is divisible by 2. Okay. So 2 power x plus x equal to 11. Take x to the right side. So left side will be with 2 power x. Right side would be 11 minus x. Now it is time of substitution. I will substitute our right hand side. Substitution. Let 11 minus x is equal to suppose t. So from this equation I can write x is equal to 11 minus t. So our equation will convert into 2 raised to the power. In place of x I will write 11 minus t equal to t. Okay. Now same property I will use 2 raised to the power 11 minus t will be written as 2 to the power 11 times 2 to the power minus t. That means 2 raised to the power 11 over 2 power t. So if I will cross multiply then I can write 2 raised to the power 11 equal to t into 2 raised to the power t. Okay. Now let me write in the left, the variable term in the left, t times 2 raised to the power t equal to 2 power 11. Okay. Now can I write t in terms of exponent or 2 power t in terms of exponent? See my target is I want to convert into Lambert W form that is x times e power x equal to suppose a then left hand side would be equal to x with right hand side lambda w a. This is what I know. This is what I know. Okay. So our target is, is it possible for us to convert t into 2 power t in this form x times e raised to the power x. So yes, we can convert by converting its base. See, 2 raised to the power t can be written as t would be as it is t. This 2 power t I will write e raised to the power ln t and that t will be here. Is that okay? This is 2 power t. 2 power t can be written as change of base e raised to the power ln 2 power t and that t will come here equal to 2 power 11. Now what is missing? See this should be same as exponent of e. Okay. So here it is t ln 2. If you will notice then here it is t ln 2. Here it is only t. So what I will do? Multiply by ln 2 both sides. Okay. Now see the equation. t ln 2 times e raised to the power t ln 2 equal to 2 raised to the power 11 ln 2. Now you can easily see this is your x as per lambda w. That is same. So left hand side I would write, let me write t ln 2 and right hand side is w of lambda w of 2 power 11 ln 2. 
Okay. Remember what is our t? T is 11 minus x. All right. Let me write here. I will write t ln 2 equal to lambda w 2 raised to the power 11 ln 2. Okay. So t would be divided by ln 2 w 2 power 11 ln 2 divided by ln 2. Now we know that substitution that was let me write here x is equal to 11 minus t that was our substitution or t is equal to 11 minus x. So what is needed in place of t I will write 11 minus x. So 11 minus x would be equal to w 2 power 11 ln 2 divided by ln 2. So x will be 11 minus lambda w 2 power 11 ln 2 divided by ln 2. And using calculator or using Wolfram alpha, you will get w2 raised to the power 11 ln2 over ln2 value is 8. So x will be equal to 11 minus 8. So x will be equal to 3. All right. This is our solution. Is this the only solution? For that purpose, you have to see the second solution, the second method of solving this problem that is using calculus. How we will conclude, see equation was 2 raised to the power x equal to 11 minus x. Now, what I am trying to do, I will find out f dash, see function, basically my objective is to find out derivative. So left hand side, if you will find derivative, then it would be 2 power x ln 2. Right hand side, if you will find derivative, that would be minus 1. Okay. Right hand side you are getting derivative negative. So function is decreasing function right hand side. This function is decreasing function. And now left hand side derivative is always positive. So this function is increasing only. Now you can easily see this red color graph is the graph of exponential 2 power x and which is continuously increasing in the interval in the domain minus infinity to plus infinity and second function this is which is dipping down decreasing function only and this one is increasing so at most one intersection is possible so that is we have already calculated using lambda w also if you want to find out using check and error method or hit and trial method then that method will give you if i am putting x equal to 1 2 raised to the power 1 equal to 11 minus 1. No, it is not true. x equal to 2. Then 2 raised to the power 2. 4 equal to 11 minus 2 equal to 9. Not true. Let me put x equal to 3. So by hit and trial method also, left hand side is 8. Right hand side is 11 minus 3 which is 8. So that method also you can find out x equal to 3 is your solution by that logic. One function is monotonic decreasing, another is increasing. One intersection point we will get that will be our solution. I hope you understood this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like also.